Hey everyone, and welcome to Tina TV PH. Today, we are going to talk about 10 things you should know before getting a husky. You may have noticed that recently, there has been an increase in the number of people wanting to own or adopt huskies. You could say this is due in part to the trend towards glamorizing the occult like werewolves and shows like Game of Thrones which make owning of pets that look like wolves seem cool. Needless to say, owning a husky is more than just having a pet for show. Here are 10 things you should know about huskies before you decide to own or adopt one. Before I begin, please support our channel by clicking like and subscribe. Now let's start this list with one of the obvious factors to consider which is number one cost whether you choose to adopt a husky or purchase one from a reputable breeder you will need to set up a significant portion of your budget for your new friend it is not just about the initial purchase of your pet in fact that cost pales in comparison to the amount of money that you should be spending on their needs and maintenance from quality dog food vaccinations, deworming, vitamins, toys, grooming supplies, bed, leashes, boarding, vet bills, training sessions, the list goes on. Get ready to spend a lot of money, especially during the first year of your pet. And since huskies are made for cool weather, one other thing you should take into account is keeping them from overheating, especially during summer or if you are living in tropical climates. Be ready to see higher power costs during hot periods since you will need to keep them with fans or air conditioning on. Number 2. Shedding When you own a husky, get ready to own fluffy versions of your pet. They are known to shed a lot, and I mean a lot, especially during their shedding seasons, which happens twice a year. So if you have allergic rhinitis, huskies might not be a good match for you since even outside their shedding seasons, they still continuously shed off bits of their inner coats. And although it might get annoying to see white hair flying around your living room, remember to never resort to shaving their coats. Doing so will endanger your huskies more, as their coats not only keep them warm during cold periods, but it helps regulate warm temperatures as well. Number 3. Stubborn People who have huskies can attest to the fact that they are not easy to train. Truth is, they are not recommended for beginner owners. They are highly independent and are known to be one of the most stubborn dog breeds. This stubbornness could be linked to them being pack dogs, and as such, they naturally seek an alpha figure to lead them. If they don't see you as an alpha, they will keep on challenging their boundaries and are likely to defy you. Number 4. Need for Exercise Do you love to take walks and go jogging? Do you usually spend more than an hour when doing this exercise? If you said yes to both questions, then you are a good match for a husky. According to the Kennel Club, huskies typically need more than 2 hours of exercise every day. They have been bred for long-distance sled hauling so they naturally have lots of energy that would need to be released. Huskies that do not get to exercise regularly tend to release all those pent-up energy by finding other sources of entertainment. Bringing me to my next point. Number 5. Destructive So, what do bored huskies do to keep themselves entertained? Usually one of two things. They dig or they chew. The holes they dig are pretty impressive and they are more than capable of replicating those big and deep holes all around your garden. This habit stems from way back their ancestry as sled dogs, wherein digging is essential in order to have temporary shelter in the cold of the Arctic. You may not have snow in your backyard, but your garden is more than enough playground for your husky to satiate their excavating impulses 
One other thing they love to do when bored is to chew on virtually anything. Cheap toys and even raw hide just won't cut it for them. They not only chew while they are puppies due to teething, but that habit actually stays with them as they grow older. To refrain them from chewing off the legs of your furniture, take time to train them to only chew on their chew toys. Or better yet, as I mentioned before, let them exercise and tire themselves out. Number 6. Escape Artists Huskies that are bored and restless, combined with their intelligence and curiosity, will likely quickly turn into escape artists. They are known to jump and climb fences, and unless they are sufficiently trained, they are known to speed off from their owners when the chance arises. So it's imperative to have a high fence to secure your place and make sure they are secured well in their leashes during walks, lest you are ready for a strenuous exercise as they are quite difficult to catch. Number 7. Predator Huskies have high prey drive but limited only to small animals. They love chasing and playing with their prey like chicken, rabbit, cats, sometimes even insects like cockroaches and bugs. As it is, be careful in socializing them with small dog breeds. They play really rough and small dogs might not be able to catch up with their high energy. Number 8. Guard Dog Not Looking at huskies, you might think that they would make pro-aggressive and effective guard dogs since they look so much like wolves. They may look intimidating, but most likely, huskies will welcome intruders or burglars excitedly. They love people and are more concerned with who will play with them and not who shouldn't be there. Number 9. Howling Aside from resembling wolves in appearance, one other reason why huskies are thought to be close relatives to wolves is due to their howling. Fun fact, huskies are as close relatives to wolves as are your cute shih tzus. So no, their howling is not because they are cousins of wolves. It's actually due to their origin of living as sled dogs wherein howling is their means of communication that is effective in the arctic environment. Even now that they are no longer functioning as sled dogs, howling still remains as their way of communicating when they are bored, frustrated, lonely, or excited. Number 10. Social Dog Siberian Husky should not be left alone. They are a social animal that needs interaction from other dogs or from humans as they are used to living in packs. If you leave a Siberian Husky alone for extended periods, it could result in separation anxiety and potentially destructive behavior will result. If you are thinking of having a Husky, there should be someone with them most of the time, or better yet, Get another dog so you won't have to worry about separation anxiety. So, if you think you are still up to the challenge of owning a husky after all that preview, congratulations! Having one in your household is more or less equivalent to having another child in your family. It is difficult, especially at first, but the joy of seeing the antics of this fluffy dog makes it worthwhile. Hope you find this video useful, and if there are things we missed out, or if you want to share your experience living with huskies, please feel free to leave a comment below. We do appreciate it. See you guys on the next video.